Oh, look at all the birds down there. Good morning. It's uh, January the 18th. So after about a week and a half off the trail, I'm getting back on trail here at about mile marker 150 on the Florida Trail and the Kissimmee River and the town of Okeechobee, I believe is what it is. And um, going to be out for like a four day stretch this time, about 90 miles. Um, and then I'm going to jump back off for a couple more days. But uh, oh, look at the, the birds here. Pretty neat. So the plan is uh, about 21 miles today. I've got a spot reserved at a backcountry campsite. So um, that's the plan for today. So, and the birds are eating something down there. So it's pretty, pretty crazy. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be overcast today and a high in the 70s. So uh, we'll see what today brings. But anyway, I'll be back uh, a little later. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna have overcast like this today and maybe even some rain later on. So I'm hoping not, but uh, been stuck in a weird weather pattern here for South Central Florida here, I guess. The week and a half that I've been off trail, this area has just got pounded by rain, including uh, two days ago, two days straight of, you know, inch plus of rain in this area. So, and it was already wet, so. I'm definitely going to end up with some hiking through water at some point on this section, but uh, I think today I might be okay for the most part until the end of the day. So we'll see what it brings, but uh, we'll deal with it. All right, about eight miles in and uh, came to this lock here and uh, the lock attendant was kind enough to give me a bottle of water, so that'll help me. Uh, not have to drink any water out of the Kissimmee River, hopefully. <laughs> That's my goal. And I'm leaving the dike, and I got a little bit of road here coming up now, so we'll see. Hopefully it stays road like this, and we'll be all right. But uh, great day for hiking, that's for sure. So anyway, back later. That that you're hearing right now is a bald eagle. I'm gonna try and zoom in on him in here in a minute if he doesn't fly. Good fly! There he goes, buddy. Look at this, only a half a mile since somebody gave me a bottle of water. Come across this. So cool. Well, like the Florida Trail does, back on the road now. At least there's virtually no traffic on this road, so that's nice. But you're pretty much on pavement because the side over here probably doesn't look bad on film, but the grass is just tall enough and not smooth enough that it causes you problems to walk over there. So on the pavement for the next few miles anyway, but uh, going good, just really looking for a lunch spot right now. So probably somewhere around, I don't know, probably getting close to 10 end, so. Grab a lunch here soon. I mean, is the Florida Trail great or what? I'm sitting here uh, in the country having lunch. Almost no cars on this road. The one car that does come by, stops, gives me M&Ms, crackers, raisins, and almonds. I mean, how good is this? A beautiful spot here along the Kissimmee River. Beautiful oak trees everywhere. It's all about trail magic today. Uh, another couple miles down the road, I see this Florida Trail Hikers open this up. Got all kinds of food in here, some water, uh, bug spray, some charging, a battery bank with charging outlets. So, uh, wow really taking care of the hikers out here. Okay, I'm entering a, an area called uh, Yates Marsh. And uh, good news is this will be the end of my road walking for the day and the rest of the day should be on trail. So anyway, so we'll see. I have a feeling though, I might be 
about to get my feet wet here. We'll see. It sure is nice to be off the road. Yeah, it's about four o'clock and I've only got a mile to go. So um, just a beautiful trail through this section here. So hopefully it stays like this. Had a little bit of water on the trail, but nothing, nothing like I was expecting so far. It's not been bad. A couple little ditches you had to get across and that kind of stuff. But other than that, the trail so far has been dry. Probably jinxing myself. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, be at camp uh, soon and 21 miles knocked out. So back in a bit. All right, here we go. It's home for tonight. And I uh, got a picnic table, fire ring, benches over there. But looks like I'll have this place to myself more than likely. But uh, who knows? Maybe somebody else will show up. We'll see. All right, good morning, Friday, January 19th. It's about 6 a.m. Getting ready to get started here. Sun doesn't come up till around 7 or so, so I have a little bit of night hiking, but not much. But this was a pretty uh, lively spot last night. About 2.30, or no, 12.30, something woke me up that was sniffing right outside my tent. I think it was probably just a raccoon or a possum or a skunk or something, but kind of freaks you out, so I got up and hollered and ran it off. And then about an hour later, a uh, pig came in, was just outside the tent rooting around. So I yelled and he ran off. <laughs> so it wasn't the best night's sleep, but a uh, little bit of rain off and on, but uh, getting ready to get going this morning. Yeah, that was the Chandler campsite, which, uh, yeah, it was a great campsite other than a little active, but if I can figure out where I'm going here this morning. But um, yeah, the plan today in about six miles, I'm gonna come to a uh, little convenience store slash deli. So I should be able to get me a hot cup of coffee, maybe a breakfast sandwich or something like that. So that's my plan here. And then um, after that, we'll just see what happens. I'm looking at probably 24 miles, but uh, we'll just have to see how uh, things go here today. Um, not sure what the train is gonna be like. We got mostly trail, um, so we'll see what it's like here. All right, I gotta figure out if I can navigate this in the dark here. So anyway, back later. I mean, is this trail beautiful or what? Yeah, the trail brings you out onto Route 98 for a little bit. But at least this road will have the convenience store in a little bit. Yeah, great little breakfast sandwich and hot coffee this morning. So that makes you feel good. <laughs> so uh, the road 98 that I'm on here parallels the trail for a couple of miles here. So I'm just taking that so that I can stop at that store. Then we'll be back on the trail in a little bit. But uh, yeah, overcast day, but you know, good day for hiking. That's for sure. Back later. All right, it's about one o'clock and uh, I've reached the Oak Creek Trailhead. So I'm gonna sit down here and have a little lunch. Still overcast, but yeah, just spit rain on me a few times, but nothing major. So hopefully uh, it's gonna be clearing up because it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. So we'll see here. Yeah, this is a brand new section of Florida Trail, I'm told just opened I think last weekend they said so it got us off the road out there for a little bit but I mean it's kind of uneven footing to walk on it's literally like they just took a uh, mower down through here and mowed it and said okay there's the trail <laughs> it's not even on my maps yet so that's how new it is but uh, anyway uh, gets us off the road a little bit I guess so going good um, where I was going to camp is only about another mile and a half up here. 
So, and it's only about a little after two, so good chance I may go a little bit further today, making pretty good time here. Back later. And of course, just when my feet were starting to dry out. Yeah, thank you so much for the new section of trail to get us off the road. Love it. Another great water cache to help us out. Thank you. All right, it's about three o'clock and uh, this is where I was going to camp. Um, Starvation Slough South, but I'm gonna hike another six miles and go to Starvation Slough North. Um, so that's where I'm heading here. It's about six miles from here, so I should get there plenty of time for dark. Yeah, and how about that sun is out now, huh? And uh, me sporting my orange cap is a good thing because I've seen four hunters today. So apparently what they were telling me was uh, this is the last weekend of deer gun season, they're telling me, so, which, I don't, you don't see very many deer out here. I'm surprised that there's even any because you really don't see them. I don't see a lot of deer sign either, but they must be out here. But anyway, back later. Yeah, I've probably already mentioned it, but this is my favorite habitat down here, the uh, oak hammocks. We have the big oak trees, palms underneath, sable palms, pretty cool. And this section's had a ton of it. This has been going on for quite a little ways off and on, so pretty cool. Yeah, the only negative is the trail keeps doing this. <laughs> So it's about impossible to keep your feet dry. As soon as you think you're getting into a spot where you can keep your feet dry, in you go again. Yeah, it's interesting. We're in the floodplain of the Kissimmee River right now. And if you look at these trees right here, see that? The black on the bottom, that's where the water was just a couple of days ago, I guess. So, um, with all that rain we had the last couple of weeks, which you can imagine, this is all would have been underwater, this whole trail. But I uh, got super lucky. It must drain fairly quickly, but um, pretty interesting uh, how high it was just a couple of days ago, and now it's down to this. So. Anyway, going good. Back later. like Jurassic Park or something. Just can't take enough pictures in here. All right, my setup for tonight. Busiest place I've ever been on the Florida Trail. Must be uh, five or six people here. So anyway, out till the morning. All right, good morning. It's Saturday, January 20th. Had a nice stay last night at Starvation Slough Campsite North. Um, got up and hiking by 6 a.m. My goal today, uh, 27 miles to a place called Kiko Campsite. So I got a couple of bailouts before that if the trail gets really bad. Um, it is all trail today, I believe, and um, I think I have some water to deal with. Some of the comments say there's a couple creek crossings with waist deep water. So really hoping that's settled down since those comments were made a couple of days ago. But uh, <laughs> it's been really difficult finding the trail this morning too. I've been lost multiple times here already, but uh, should be getting light soon. But it's gonna be a little chilly today, high of 61 north wind blowing so it should be great hiking weather today might be a little cold sleeping tonight it's supposed to get down the mid 30s tonight so shouldn't be terrible but a little chilly but anyway looks like it's going to be a beautiful day for hiking sun's getting ready to come up over there so back later yeah, i've jumped multiple pigs this morning but can't seem to get them on video
Wow. Being treated with quite the sunrise this morning. Pretty awesome stuff. I mean, for the most part, the trail's been great this morning, but like every half a mile, it, it just throws you something like this just to make sure your feet are always wet. Yeah, I had uh, 10 miles in by 9.30, so that warranted a little break, which I took and I enjoyed. Uh, a couple miles back, we entered this uh, just very flat, marshy area that's basically just been this for the last I guess a few miles now so um, and I think I'm gonna have this for a while but easy walking for the most part there are intermittent wet spots still but uh, nothing we can't deal with Hey, Hawk. All right, about 15 miles in, right around 11 o'clock, and I made it to Kissimmee Prairie State Park. So there's a little ranger station here, I guess, and there might even be a little store where I can get a cold drink. So stop here for just a minute, then be back on the trail. Yeah, back on the trail after that state park. That state park really didn't have much for me. There was no store there, like I thought. Just a little office with not even a vending machine. So I was able to get some water and uh, then back on this trail. And uh, it's like a road, but it's usually flooded like this. So I'm having to walk over here um, on the edge of it a lot and still getting my feet wet. And there was one super deep section over knee deep. So, but other than that, going great. Just a uh, cold day. Probably 60 degrees and uh, stiff breeze right in my face here. So, but uh, it's going great. So just uh, cruising along here and uh, probably about a half an hour away from my lunch stop. So maybe up in those trees somewhere, I'll find a little spot out of the wind here. Back later. Yeah, that's the trail. Okay, I'm told this section is waist deep, and you probably can't see it, but there's a gator right over there in the water. So this might be interesting. I might be using all of my anti-gator skills through here. Yeah, I made it through that. It really wasn't as bad as I thought. It is a little unnerving being in water where you know there's a gator in there. I'm sure I've been in plenty of water where there's a gator in there. I didn't know it, but I knew he was in there, so, but it was fine. Not to be a crybaby, but the trail the last couple miles has been awful. I mean, you're either walking in water or you're walking in weeds with very uneven footing. So, <laughs> not fun, but it won't last forever. This section through here has been the worst of anything on the Florida Trail so far, as far as maintenance. And the only thing maintaining the trail through here is hogs and hikers. I mean, nothing's been done. At least down, even in the worst of the trail down in Cypress Swamp, you know, you could tell where the, they were doing the best they can with what was available to them. But uh, this section here needs a little work.
All right, it's about four o'clock. I got 2.4 miles to go, so pretty easy shape to get in there about five o'clock so um <laughs> when i got through that awful section of trail i literally got to this road here and i just threw my pack down i just laid there for 45 minutes <laughs> that was just awful i was beat so yeah got 25 miles in right now it's got something to do with it probably but whew, that was a tough section of trail so just uh gonna take it easy in this uh rest of this might be on these gravel roads i'm not really sure here but i know we're gonna cross the kissimmee river here in a minute and go back to the west side of it which is where we were a long long time ago down by lake okeechobee so anyway back later all right crossing the kissimmee river all right, I think I'm gonna wrap up today. Getting actually some really nice trail towards the end of the day here. Got like 0.3 to go to the campsite and uh, I'm thinking uh, it'll probably be kind of busy because it's car accessible. So, and, and it is Saturday night, so we'll see what happens, but I think there'll probably be a lot of other people around, maybe not. But anyway, that'll wrap up 27 miles today and uh, that leaves me, I think, only like 14 to get uh, to Route 60 and through this section here. So um, most likely back in the morning here. All right, well, here's my home for tonight. Do have some people car camped in the distance here, but uh, don't even think they know I'm here. All right, good morning, 6.45 a.m. It's uh, Sunday, the 21st, January 21st. So getting started here just a little before seven, not much. Got a pretty easy day today here. Only got um, 14 miles to go to Route 60 and Patty's picking me up. So it should be a uh, pretty simple day here this morning. And uh, it did get cold last night, but I don't think it's cold as they thought because I didn't get it cold at all in my tent, so um, it was a pretty nice night, really. So I was in a really protected spot out of the wind, and the wind did pick up a little bit, but didn't affect me at all. So looks like uh, should be a cold, crisp day. Good, good day to finish this section up here. So anyway, back later. Here comes the sun this morning. All right, this is actually the Kissimmee River right here I'm following a little bit. And uh, just me and lots of cows over here. But they don't want nothing to do to me so far. I'm probably about six or seven in and uh, most of the hiking has been on this road so far. A little bit's been off, but most of it's on the road. And most of it was into a really exposed cold north wind. So I'm happy to be uh, somewhat protected back in here. It feels good. So anyway, going good. Morning, ladies. Hey, ladies. I'm getting some pretty cool trail this morning, so. But it is cold. If you come hiking in Florida, don't forget your winter gear. Made it to this place called River Ranch. It looks like, uh, looks like little cabins over there. And they're shaped like wagons, covered wagons. And a bunch of teepees up here. So, I'm not sure what's going on, but I might see if I can get myself a coffee over there. Yeah, this river ranch is quite the spot. It's a big place. I'm surprised how big it is, but uh, I guess I can get a coffee, but it's 0.4 down that road, so 
not doing that at this point, so I'm gonna keep going. All right, about 11 a.m. this morning, and I've made it to the rendezvous spot here. So that's gonna wrap up this section, uh, another 90 miles of the trail done. I think that puts me at like mile 470 complete, something like that. Um, so I'm gonna take a few days off and then I'll be back at it. So back later.